What's going on everybody? It's your boy Justin Norm. I'm back for another video. Woo, 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 woo. All right, I know you're excited about that. And if you're not excited about it, well then get excited. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You right there. Okay, so look, let me tell you about a series that I started a long time ago. It feels like it was ages ago called Answering Your Cakewalk Questions. Yes, I say cakewalk because that's what this channel mostly covered was cakewalk. And I know you're probably thinking about switching to another doll. It's okay. I'm not gonna argue with that there because cakewalk is kind of like this right there. All right, but I still believe in the power of a free doll and Cakewalk by Bandlab is still free right now. So if you haven't installed it, definitely install it. The first question that I'm going to cover in this particular video is from Ed Vibrant Visions 99. I want to say if you're listening and you happen to see this later, I apologize. I have not even replied to you. It's not like me not to reply to people but that's how busy I've been. I see the messages and I just figured, let's just make a video about it and hopefully I can answer it. How about inserting different tracks like instruments, bass and drums, but I do not want them to be in one track. How do I do that? And this is in reference to a video that's called set up your tracks properly in Cakewalk. Let's dive into Cakewalk. If you're just like me and you just opened up Cakewalk and cause I was out of town for a while, it tells you that there is a new update, update available 2024.11 update. So I'm not gonna worry about what's new. I'm gonna go ahead and download that now. So how are you doing? Did you have a good Thanksgiving? If you celebrate and if you don't, maybe you at least got a day out of school, a day out of work. I was excited because I got a whole week off and anytime I get time off, it's, it just gives me a breath of fresh air. So that way I can actually focus on things that I need to do for myself, for my health, for my family, and for the channels that I'm building. You all, you may not know this, I have built, well not built, but still building multiple channels. In fact, I think I have three or four channels now on YouTube. Um, and covering all different areas. I have my gaming channel, which is called Just A Vibe. Let me check it out if you want to. I have Just A Norm, which is his music channel, which is really my artist channel, uh, official artist channel. And then I have Just The Art, which is my art channel, which really don't post to as much now. And then I also have my Just The... Oh, then I also have Waveform Explorer, which is cover and traction waveform. All right, enough of that. Now let's get back to the video. Cakewalk has installed and it says, ooh, Black Friday, 60% off membership. Snag our lowest price ever and unlock a year of Cakewalk Sonar and Cakewalk Next for $71, okay? If you get the membership. That's only for a year. Still don't have a set price for Cakewalk Sonar and Cakewalk Next uh, for perpetual license. It seems like they're just going to be doing subscription model based. I am still going to get into Sonar, you all. Don't think I haven't uh, because I just still think it's going to be a good doll. Um, of course, some have made videos about it. But anyway, you didn't come here for that. Let's answer this question. So let's go to a new project. And then I want to go to an empty project, right? Empty project comes up. I'm switching screens. So that's the reason why I'm looking over to this direction in case you want to know. All right. And all right, here we go. And this is Cakewalk by Band Lab. Now, what you want to do is if you want to have separate tracks, it's simple. You just, you know, hit a few different tracks, you know, control T, control T, control T. Now, if I want to have one vocal on one track and another vocal on another track, I can do that. Now, if I want to create an instrument track, all I have to do is just right click, insert instrument. And let's do, let's say I want SI drum kit right here. Okay, it's gonna take a little while to create. 
and then right click insert instrument then let's say i want the bass on this one all right create it all right and you notice it right away i have multiple tracks now if i want to do something here i can just play around with them until i hear something Got times there. Okay. And I can just go ahead and add some bass drums here. Bring it over. Okay. Let's hear the tempo for this. All right. Tempo's there. Turn it on for play. Okay. All right. Might want to move this over. Okay. Doing every other. Okay. Cool. And then I can just put a snare there. Uh, uh. Yep. Yep, there and there. Okay, now that's it for the drums. Like I'm not trying to do anything else. Not trying to really make it fancy. Just trying to give you the idea that when I go to another track to record, all right, I can uh, use the virtual, com I could use the virtual controller, which is Alt Zero. And I can play something on my keyboard. Okay. And let's record. Okay. Now, it did come in automatically. And whenever you're doing recording on Cakewalk, you definitely want to put in a click track or a count in. So you can do this by clicking on the metronome. Count in. One measure. Apply close all right let's go back and here we go again I'm gonna press record okay all right simple groove okay not in time quantize it you can press oh I, I missed this because I've been in waveform so much Q still works. Yep. Press Q and we quantize it to the sixteenth duration right here. And that's fine, I think. Okay. And that actually puts everything on separate tracks. Now, if you were dealing with, uh, for instance, like the SI drum kit, it does not allow separate outputs. So how would I go about recording all of this on one track and then separating it well i have a video that talks about how to do that and basically all it does it involves going into the track copying duplicating it to other tracks and then deleting the particular data or information that you want to get rid of so like if i want the snare drum to be off of track four but i want the snare drum to be on track five or track six then i just leave it there and then anything else that's on the track that I don't need, I delete. And that's the way I've always done that. Now there's other way you can do that with doing a drum map, but that is a little bit more complicated. I do have a video about that too as well. Now, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. It does help it grow so much. Like I am grateful that I hit 5,000 subscribers. I didn't even really celebrate it. And that's how you know I've been busy because I really like to celebrate when I do things. I said in the comments, like, I wanted to know who the 5,000 subscriber was. I was going to give you some money, you know, but, you know, nobody ever came up. And some, somebody liked the comment, but that was it. But anyway, this is kind of unorthodox. I know I'm talking more, I'm rambling more than I normally would. You probably clicked out the video, but I just want to say I love you all. Take care.